Please. What's up, guys? Um, Invita oh, One here, I and I am back to really give you guys a little bit of a flavor of the vanilla infiltrator sniper, the human version, the base human infiltrator sniper. Okay, now this is a sniper build, obviously, but this is the base human infiltrator. Now, the reason I, I have to emphasize on that is because a lot of you guys forget how awesome and powerful this guy is. Everybody's into all the other infiltrators, uh, the, the, the Turians, all these the other guys that are pretty cool and everything, but you know, a lot of you guys are forgetting that these base guys are extremely powerful. Now, I'm going to prove to you, not just for this gameplay, but I'm also going to tell you how to spec out this infiltrator sniper in a way so you can do the kind of damage that you're watching me do here on Platinum. Okay? Now, a lot of people don't like using these infiltrator snipers because they're a little, they're not as tanky. They still have good health and, and shields. They have 825 health, 825 shields when maxed out fitness. Um, but, uh, that's good enough if you put a cyclonic launch later on them, you know, that's really good enough for him to survive. But as you notice here, I'm really doing a, an amazing amount of damage and taking a lot of enemies um, uh, with this guy. Now, I'm going to go over as to why and how. All right, I'm going to talk about the build, and I'm going to tell you how to get massive amounts of damage. And it's interesting because somebody in a previous vid kind of noticed something about a lot of my builds. Since I play a lot of Platinum, I like to go for a lot of high damage builds because I like to take out the enemies as quickly as possible, do as much damage as possible, so by the time they even try to get to me, it's maybe it's one or two shots, and they're done. They're over with, you know, they, they, they can't do anything to me anymore, and it's over. Now, this is the um, this is the build I'm going to go over, and I'm going to explain why it is ridiculously powerful, okay? It's not OP, it's not overpowered, it's none of that bullcrap, okay? I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know that this guy is pretty powerful, and this is why. So for the infiltrator sniper, you're going to want to go with something like the Black Widow, the Widow. Even, let's say you don't have any of those, you can still use the Mantis. It's a one-shot. It takes a little bit more time, yes, but, you know, hey, you know, if, if, if you're playing at that level, you should be playing gold anyways or playing silver. Okay, if you don't have like the widow, well, you could still use the widow, um, which is great. You can still use the widow on platinum difficulty, which is very, very powerful. Um, and or the black widow. I prefer the black widow just because I get the three shots and I can still do a lot of damage with them. So now, tactical cloak. This is where this is part of where the magic begins. Okay, you definitely want to start off your shot with tactical cloak first. Now on rank four, <laughs> again, that's the. the Pretty much what everybody has has been noticing by now, damage, 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 damage. On rank 4, go for damage. Like this, you're getting increased damage bonus by 40%, which is a total of 80% with your attack cloak. So when you attack cloak, you get an additional 80% weapon damage bonus. Okay? Now, rank 5, recharge speed always. I don't care for melee damage, because I, I don't do... I don't do a lot of melee on plat. I do melee on platinum, but not with this character. This will be uh, melee, a, a melee build. I could create it separately for you guys and really explain it. This is a really good melee build for the uh, for these guys. Um, but that's mostly good for gold gameplay, for silver and bronze. Anyways, rank five recharge speed. Rank six, you're gonna want to go for sniper damage and increases the sniper rifle damage by 25% while cloaked. So now, if you add this rank six bonus, you're getting a total of 105% increased weapon damage when you cloak. Now, that's not even the good part because you guys already know that with tactical cloak, that's what you can get. Now, this is the best part because a lot of you guys, you know, think that cryoblast. Now, let's talk about cryo. You lot of you guys think all oh, cryoblast is nice to just freeze enemies and everything. No. Do not think of it that way. It's great to freeze enemies. It's great to do all that kind of stuff. Think of it, but mostly think of it as a debuffer. Okay? You want to think of it as Cryoblast as a debuffer. Get your mindset out of, oh, I just wanted to freeze enemies. Why doesn't Cryoblast freeze phantoms? Why doesn't it do this? Why does it? No, no. It freezes enemies who are who are unshielded. And once you take down the shields, it does freeze them, except for phantoms, except for certain, you know, certain other enemies. It does quite a few things, but think of it as a debuffer. Now let's go over it. Rank four. You're gonna want to go for radius because you're gonna want to debuff multiple enemies. Okay, this is kind of think of it like also like proxy mine. You know when you go to proxy mine and you get radius, same thing. You want to debuff multiple enemies. Okay, now rank 
Uh, I'm sorry, that was rank 4. Rank, rank 5, you're going to want to go for Cryo Explosion. This is very important. Speed reduction is fun. Don't get me wrong. Speed reduction, you can slow down climbs. You can slow down Praetorians. And they start, like, they literally inching. They are literally inching towards you. But this, you're going to want to go for damage, guys. Just, you want to you get this, time, this kind of uh, damage output, this kind of gameplay for yourself. Rank 5, go for Cryo Explosion. You get an increase damage to children frozen targets by 10%. Now, rank 6, I go for frozen vulnerability. And this is where it's even more important because the increased damage to frozen and chill targets, again, it's another 15%. And not only that, if you're hitting an armor target specifically, you are weakening the armor by an additional 25%. So let, let's talk numbers now. So if I am using Tactical Cloak, and then I go and then I immediately Tactical Cloak, shoot my Cryo Blast into the enemy, all right? I am doing an addition and a total of 130% total damage bonus. That's what I get. 130% total damage bonus. So, Tac Cloak, Cryo Blast, 130% weapon damage bonus. Now, and that Cryo Blast, by the way, that Cryo Blast debuff, your teammates are not going to get the ta your Tactical Cloak debuff, your, 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 your weapon damage bonus, but they are going to get the Cryo Blast bonus. That's what is great. Sometimes I'll, uh, in this gameplay, what I would do is I would call it out to the team. I would say, hey, that Banshee is cryo, you know, she's debuffed. She's debuffed. She's debuffed. The, the Banshee is debuffed. I cryo blast it. I cryo blast it. So, like, they, they can get the, um, well, actually, what they get is a 25% damage bonus on the, on the target. And if and if it's a, an armor target, they get an additional 25% to weaken their armor. So, in other words, it's a great debuffer for your team as well and this is why I, I recommend radius for it so like that you could debuff multiple enemies and let's say yeah uh, you got a, a, a spawn and you're you shoot at a brute you know you hit a brute with a cryo blast and then there's a few cannibals around them that entire team is is pretty much messed up they are all debuffed and ready to be taken down so that is a great thing guys so the amount of damage that you can do with a human infiltrator it is absolutely amazing so the total again 130 percent total damage bonus so that is a great thing guys i mean he's so good he's a little he's a little weak he's not he's not as tanky but at the same time, you could, you know, you could, you could revert, you know, to using a cyclonic modulator two, three, or four, whatever you need to make his shields a little better. It'll give him probably about a thousand, a uh, thousand one hundred or a thousand two hundred shields, depending on which cyclonic modulator you're using, and that'll be great. Now, sticky grenades, guys. On this build, I do not use sticky grenades, and the reason why is because I want to max out his fitness and I want to max out his alliance training. Let's talk about his training real quick, because uh, you're gonna want to do a few things here. Um, for uh, to get the kind of uh, to get the kind of damage that um, that that I'm getting here, okay. So for rank four, um, you're gonna want to go for weapon damage, okay. It's the one on the top, so like that you get an additional bonus, weapon damage bonus of 7.5 percent. Uh, rank five instead of power damage go for headshots this way if you got a headshot on a, on, a, on a prime you have a headshot on a banshee which it's not exactly what i recommend on the banshees unless you're really really good with that i'm not missing shots on the banshee's head um but any shot on uh, any headshot on any enemy you're gonna get an additional 20 percent damage bonus guys it's really really good now rank six weapon damage that's what i go for increased weapon damage bonus by 10 percent so in other words you have a huge amount of weapon damage bonus here just by his passives and that is why again you see with my black widow which i'm using here now um i am killing um, uh, platinum banshees uh, with almost maybe three shots you know the, uh, obviously the entire team is helping me out of course but the banshee gets debuffed with the cryo blast i'm doing a ton of weapon damage and it's absolutely amazing now for fitness guys i go all bottoms on this one on this build i go all bottoms now there is another build that I am going to show you guys after this one. There's another video that's coming right after this one. It's not even, it's back to back. I already have it. It's already done. I, I'm just got to finish processing for you guys and narrating a little bit of it. But if you, if you do have, um, if you are going for a gold build um, that's not a sniper build, that is going to be the next video. And that I'm going to show you guys how the human infiltrator can have a different kind of build that's more up close and personal. Okay? So now, but anyways, on, on fitness, you're going to want to go all bottoms, rank 4, 5, and 6. And that'll give you 825 health, 825 shields. Okay? 
So that is that is how I spec this guy. Now the 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 the, the, the gear bonuses. Actually, never, let me not even talk about the gear bonuses, bonuses yet. The the sniper rifles that you're gonna want to use, which I talked about a little bit before, is the Black Widow. Um, I recommend the Black Widow if you are a silver player and um, and you're still not up to gold, then you can use the Viper. I don't recommend the Viper on gold or in platinum. It's just it's not that powerful, guys. It's really really not. But on silver and bronze, it's good. But that's about it. Don't take it to gold. I mean, unless you're doing a challenge or something, and, you know, whatever. That's fine. The Valiant is good. But I still recommend, guys, the, what I recommend the most is the Black Widow and the Widow as, as the snipers, okay? Um, or, or by the way, or the Javelin. Those three are the top, top sniper weapons that I recommend. The reason I, I don't always recommend the Javelin to sh uh, right away is because a lot of people can't get it. You know, you, you have to, it's a charge shot, you have to, it's a one shot at a time, and you have to get the shot right. If not, you're done for. So it's a very, very skilled weapon as, as in, in comparison to like the Black Widow where you get three shots. If you miss a shot, you can get the second and the third one and still get the, you know, get the tactical cloak bonus and the, um, and the cryoblast explosion bonus yeah. so like that you can still kill the enemy um, even if you miss a shot so anyways now the other weapons the mantis uh, and the javelin the indra is decent guys but for this build you're gonna want to kill much much faster than the indra but the indra is okay the indra works don't get me wrong the indra is good it's good for this build it, it definitely works and you'll have fun with it especially on gold silver even on platinum guys the indra works with this guy fine um, i just my gameplay style i want to get the you know the shots out quickly as possible i want to make sure I, that i drop them and that's what i do uh, the incisor, I don't recommend it for platinum. I don't recommend it even for gold unless you're using a Turian with it. The, the incisors are pretty much, in my opinion, only good with the Turians. That's it. Um, now, and the Black Widow and the Kish no, no Kisha Carpoon Gun, please. <laughs> no Kisha Carpoon Gun on platinum. Take the Kisha Carpoon Gun to silver or gold. Gold only if you're really good with it. Um, but the Kishar Fung Gun is a very skilled weapon. If you really don't know how to play it, definitely do not put it on this build. It will be good for this build, but it's just I recommend it for. I don't recommend it for platinum or gold. I recommend it. You can handle it on gold, but I'd mostly recommend it lower difficulties like silver and bronze, where it's a lot more fun to use. Um, the Crusade Sniper Rifle it works, but it's. <laughs> I really dislike the Crusade now. They, they they've nerfed this gun so much that it's just not fun to play. So I really don't recommend it. Now the collector sniper rifle is also a good one for this guys. You put the collector sniper rifle on, maybe put some cryo rounds or put some incendiary rounds, and you're you know you're you're ready to go. Now now that I tell you guys the the sniper rifles that I recommend, um, let's talk about the uh, the sniper rifle mods. Now this one. Um, I, I only put the sniper rifle, I have velocity barrel, and I always recommend it, always, always, always for this build. Um, but this time I decided to go with the, uh, the second uh, bonus, um, well the second modification, uh, the second mod that I used was the sniper rifle with spare thermal click because I wanted to have more shots. Um, but you can also use the, the sniper rifle thermal scope 5, uh, or whichever, whichever level you have it on, because it reveals enemies through walls, it reveals enemies, you know, if you're scoping through, let's say you're playing against servers and the atlases puff their, their smoke up, then you could actually just kind of look through it and be able to see right through it. So I definitely recommend those as to stack those two together. In some situations that you want more ammo, then just go for right sniper rifle with the spare thermal clip and you'll be fine, which is what I did here. Um, I, I definitely recommend to go either or, which is totally, totally fine. Okay, now, for the ammo types. The ammo types that I go for these, um, for these sniper rifles, okay? I definitely go for armor-piercing rounds. Now, you, you, you may be thinking, well, you already have armor-piercing rounds on, you already have armor-piercing with the modification on the gun with the sniper rifle high-velocity barrel. But yeah, that's great, but the, the armor-piercing rounds also give you an extra weapon damage bonus. So, like, for example, armor-piercing rounds 4, you get an extra 50% weapon damage bonus, you get more penetration, and you got a great armor-piercing rating of 90%. So, it really helps the armor piercing rounds is really excellent and allow you to do a massive amount of damage especially on banshees as you've seen here especially on brutes on primes it's just really good against armor so definitely recommend that um the next set of rounds that i would recommend are actually uh, warp rounds warp rounds are really great because they increase your weapon damage 
Okay, you don't get a, a, a the biotic damage bonus. That's fine. But if, if you're actually playing with a caster class like the, the biotics or adepts, then actually this might work out. You might actually say, well, let me not use armor piercing rounds. Let me use warp rounds like that. You do get an additional weapon damage bonus if uh, you know somebody's reaving or somebody's warping an enemy or anything like that. You do get that bonus. Um, but you know if you use warp rounds four, you get an additional weapon damage bonus, 60 percent. You weaken armor. Plus 65% for 4 seconds. You weaken the armor. allows you to do a lot more damage to them. So that's a great thing. So I will either go with Warp Browns to increase the weapon damage or with Armor Piercing Rounds, guys. So I, I, I go for Armor Piercing Rounds first, then Warp Browns second. Unless you have a caster class with you um, and you want to take advantage of that, then just go for Warp Browns, which is great. Incendiary Rounds, guys, is, is great. It's excellent. Um, it's it's really excellent. The only thing is that for this kind of build, you're gonna be fine with those two kind of um, ammo types because you're gonna be doing so much damage that you don't care about the damage over time. You, you're what you're doing. You're doing so much damage, so much debuffing with this character that it's not gonna matter the damage over time. You're gonna be killing enemies so quickly, especially on gold, guys. This build on gold is ridiculous. I mean, you're you're, you're cloaking, you're debuffing with the cryo blast, you're hitting the enemy, one shot done. Uh, really, on gold, one shot. They're pretty much a trooper, um, even a marauder, one shot to the head, boom, done. It's, it's even not to the head, to the neck. Shoot him in the chest if you want to. Shoot him in, in the groin. <laughs> you know, whatever you want to do. He, he'll go down. Just trust me on that. Test that out. Go to gold. Do it now. Okay? And send me back a report. Ten words or less. <laughs> Let me know if it works or not. I'm, I can guarantee you it works. Believe me. Um, so you're not gonna even gonna want incendiary rounds. So save your incendiary rounds for other characters. So you know incendiary rounds are great rounds. Save them. Don't waste them on this. You know, and that's it. Now, phasics. Let me talk about phasics a little bit. You're not gonna want. You're really not gonna want to use phasics with this. Um, phasics are really good because they do give you a good weapon damage bonus. Don't get me wrong. They they are decent. Uh, what's good about them is that they they stop the shield reg regeneration delay and they also uh, go through the uh, the the uh, go through shields and actually uh, the shield gate and and do damage to armor um, or health. Um, so it ignores shield gaining and actually does damage to both the the shields and armor and health. But I, I I'm not a big fan of phasic rounds unless you're playing like against the collectors where you know you have Praetorians and having phasic rounds are really good. So if you're playing against the collectors, then I would. You know, I would put the phasic rounds. If not, I still go for armor piercing. Even then, I still go for armor piercing because then the, the, the Praetorians have so much armor. The Science have so much armor. I, I, everybody has so much armor when it comes to the collectors that I'd still stick to those. Yeah. You know, to those ammo types. In all honesty, explosive rounds. Don't even talk, touch them, guys. Don't even go there. Don't even mention them. Drill rounds would be uh, are also great, by the way. As a matter of fact, let me switch this around a little bit. I did say. Armor piercing rounds and then warp rounds, and that, I'm still sticking to that. But if for whatever reason you don't have warp rounds, or for whatever reason you don't have armor piercing rounds, then start off with drill rounds. Then get drill rounds three, which actually have a 30% damage bonus. You get a lot of penetration, and um, you know, and, and you get armor piercing. You know, you get the armor piercing bonuses, which are really really good. Now explosive rounds, forget them, screw them. You don't need it for this. Not even necessary. Just forget it. Don't, don't even don't even think about the fact that I said it. Now, as you can see, guys, with this gameplay, the absolute damage that I'm doing here is ridiculous. Okay, it's just absolutely insane. So I wanted to show you guys this because you know what it is. I play this game and I see that a lot of new characters are being used, and that's fun and that is great. That's absolutely awesome. I love new characters. I love the things, but I see that people get stuck on kind of like one mode, and that's why I've, you know I've been playing. I've been pugging. I've been pugging this whole week just to see what's out there, and I noticed that some people are using adepts. Some people, you know, there's a good mix out there. But then there's always that one time where people just, you know, they always go back to, to that, the high DPS classes or whatever. And in all honesty, guys, this character can outscore, okay? And not that I care about score, but I'm just saying, you guys, because I know a lot of you guys want to top the scoreboard. I know. Don't lie to me. I know it. <laughs> I already know. It. I've been pl I've been pugging quite a bit this week. And I and and by the way, guys, I when I when I play pugs, I had to. Yeah, I even tell you tell people ahead of time. Well, afterwards, say yes. I'm sorry if I play aggressive when I'm in pugs. 
the reason I play very aggressive when I'm in pugs, I mean, I play very aggressive. I make sure that I'm working hard to be the top of leaderboards because if not, I know that I'm going to get criticized hard. For whatever reason, I am getting noticed now on lobbies. They're like, oh, Invader 1, what's up? So if I'm not playing hard or whatever, people are like, oh, this is that Invader 1 guy, you know, whatever. <laughs> so that happened to me once, and, it, it, you know, this person was so disappointed. I was like, what? You know, I was just playing a chill game. I can't play a chill game, you know? But anyways, um, you know, I play very hard on pug lobbies and I make sure that I top the scoreboard I make sure that I'm killing everything that I can as quickly as possible and I bring my I bring my platinum builds over to gold which are all damage pretty much all damage so a lot of the times I'm killing everything before everybody anybody else can kill anything so this is one of those guys this is one of those builds that you can actually destroy and demolish you can now score a, a Turian ghost infiltrator guys with this build with this guy if you learn how to quick scope okay you learn you use you're using the uh, the black widow you learn how to quick scope so like that you are taking out enemies it is you see that I'm doing here look at this this is platinum platinum ravagers platinum primes and I'm just boom 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 taking them out so this character can be played on gold can be played on platinum you get a huge weapon damage bonus you get a huge sniper rifle bonus so he's a lot of fun guys you can do a lot with him. As a matter of fact the next video is going to be a totally different kind of build and I'm really excited to show you guys because there's some builds that people have forgotten about As a matter of fact when I first started playing this game I used to see people using this character in, in ways that just amazed me and I just didn't understand at the time because I first started playing with it and then people will forget about the characters right people will start using the new ones and you know they're using the celebrity infiltrators and all that kind of stuff you know and everything anything and, and everything else but every other new character but this guy can do it guys he still rocks he still does damage he still does what he needs to do and um, I mean I just, you, this is proof right here and this gameplay that you can do massive amounts of damage and the human infiltrator is what? He is boss. Okay, so I'm going to call the human infiltrator the boss right now. Alright, boss. Here you go. So, that is it, guys. This guy, take him out to the battlefield. Make sure that you learn how to quick scope, which is you are scoping in briefly for a quick moment. What you, The way you want to do it is you want to aim at the enemy. You want to put the, the, the crosshair at the enemy and you scope in for a brief second and shoot. Scope in brief second and shoot. Like that you get, you, you get, you don't get the, uh, um, the, uh, the hip fire penalty. There you go. Sorry about that. So you don't get the hip fire penalty and you're able to do that damage immediately. So you quick scope and the only thing that you have to worry about is uh, ravagers and the, the, um, the, uh, the, the, uh, on the console, not on PC. On the PC, you don't have to worry about that at all. But on the console, you have to worry about auto assist, which is just so <laughs> detrimental for your gameplay. Um, when you try to like, like zoom in, even though you're aiming at the target, it'll it'll auto zoom you into like uh, to to one of the uh, to the nearest enemy. So you, you're like, wait a second, that's not what I was looking at. So you, it really messes you up. So you really have to learn how to quick quick scope the way we do here as you notice I do a lot of quick scoping that's why you see the scope only for a brief second I scope scope zoom, zoom and shoot zoom and shoot zoom and shoot, shoot so learn how to quick scope play like this and learn how to reload cancel so I'm doing a few different things here I'm, I'm quick scoping and I'm reload canceling what that means is that I am canceling the animation to reload when I'm reloading I'm waiting to see that the clip is filled or I hear it that it goes clip and then I press the tactical cloak button uh, even though the tactical cloak might not be back on ready and available, I just tap it and it stops the, the, the real animation from happening. And this way I get you know my next shot out quickly. So that's what I recommend with this guy. Do a lot of quick scoping. Use tactical cloak, cryo blast debuff. Your team will love you for it. And you'll do massive amounts of damage as you have already seen in this video this is proof of it and I hope you've enjoyed it alright guys now also guys I hope that you've also enjoyed the, the change in the format um, and I, I'm showing the builds at the end I am talking about the builds throughout the through, throughout the entire video to make sure that you guys understand it well and um, besides that guys I hope that you comment rate and subscribe and on to the next video I have another build for this same character and I, that I think that you guys will enjoy alright Invaded one out, and thank you guys for all your support, and I will see you on the next vid.